Hello, welcome to today's video. Today, I have some J-Cat beauty products that we're going to be testing out. I got a lot of these products on sale at Ulta. Some of them I got during the like 21 days of beauty. I don't know if they were on sale because of that. But anyway, some of these products I got on sale. Some of them weren't on sale. I think some of them are new, like the foundation and the concealer, I think are maybe new products. I'm not totally sure. Ulta had them labeled as new when I bought them. So I just, I guess they're new. I don't know. So if you're new here, my name is Haley. Thanks so much for stopping by. It would be really cool if you would consider subscribing to my channel before you go. Otherwise, let's just go ahead and get started, shall we? I'm gonna start today with this J-Cat Beauty All About That Base Nude Shadow Primer. I've been looking for a new, a good new eyeshadow primer, so hopefully I like this one. We shall see. I'm just gonna use this, it's not really what this brush is for, but whatever. I'm just gonna use this brush. Oh, okay. Hello, coverage. Didn't know you were coming today. Oh my gosh, I think I used too much, friends. Okay, that kind of took me a minute, but I blame the brush. So you definitely don't need a lot of this stuff. A little goes a long way. I usually set my eye base, but I'm not sure if I want to set this or not. It's a little bit tacky, not too bad though. I think for the sake of just trying out this primer today, I'm not gonna set it, but I'm gonna pat it down just a little bit because I know that the point of a lot of eyeshadow primers is to like give this the shadow something to stick to, but I don't really like it when my shadow primers are sticky, you know? So today I have the Dia and Noche Tri Element 15 Eyeshadow Palette. So this top row are mattes, and then these two rows here, the second and bottom row, they look like they might be different textures, I'm not totally sure. Kind of an odd color story. I wish there were some better options for mattes, but I think I'm gonna do like a blue thing today. Use some of these blue shades. I'm gonna swatch them real quick. Ooh, they're very soft. Okay, yeah, we could definitely make that work. Cool. I'm gonna start with the blue matte and we'll just uh, see what happens, I guess. Not a, not a, not a, not a, not a ton of color payoff. Oh, I ran out of tape, so we're just gonna kind of freehand it and cry if it doesn't work. <laughs> okay, this blue shadow is not my favorite. It's not the worst though. And I mean, I feel like blue just in general is kind of a tricky color. So I'm not horribly mad at it. I mean, there was a nice little brown shadow right there in the middle that I could have used, but no, I wanted to do blue. Okay, so maybe just a touch patchy and a little tricky to blend, but it is blue. So now I'm gonna take some of this kind of like aqua color, teal, whatever, I don't know, this one, put it on the outer corner. Ooh, I like that color, very pretty. Then I'm going to take this really light icy blue right in the middle and take it over pretty much what's left of my lid. This shade is kind of chunkity. It's like really coming up chunky. A lot's coming out of the pan. This middle row and the bottom row of this palette are definitely different textures, but I'm like not really sure how they're that different. Like the texture, yes, is different, but they're both shimmery. But that the blue that I use in my outer corner is definitely like a smoother, softer consistency. Okay, and then that blue matte pretty much just got totally washed out by those two shades, but that's okay. Cool. 
cool. I'm feeling the blue though. I've been very into blue lately. I'm not sure why. Like periwinkle blue. Yeah. Okay, so now I have the JCAT Beauty Skin Insurance Max Coverage Silky Foundation. I got the shade Rose Beige. Let's see what this foundation is supposed to be all about. Weightless, long lasting, luminous, natural glow. Oh boy. Buildable liquid foundation. Okay, yeah. So, buildable, weightless, full coverage, luminous, natural is what it's saying. Okay. This is kind of a neat little bottle. It reminds me of the Tarte, um, <laughs> the face tape foundation. It comes in a similar bottle. So, cool. And it has a pump. Love that. As usual, I bought this online and JCAT, kind of like most lower end brands, they don't really describe undertones in their foundation descriptions or anything like that. But this one is called Rose Beige. So I'm assuming it has like kind of pinky rose undertones, which is just what I would need. All right, there it is, boom. Kind of a, a little bit liquidy, not too bad. Not super duper runny, like it's gonna get away from me really quickly. Oh, it looks really light. Oh my, yes it is. Oh boy, okay. Okay, so the shade's a little pale for me. We'll make it work, that's what bronzer's for, right? I get annoyed sometimes because I feel like sometimes a cool undertone or like a rose undertone for foundations translates to being like, <laughs> oh my gosh, look how light this is. Being like a really light shade, you know? And that's not what it's supposed to be, I don't think, but. It's blending well into the skin and it is very lightweight. Wish it was a little bit deeper, but it's fine. <laughs> We're gonna make it work. <sighs> okay, yeah, so I'm looking at the box and it doesn't say that it's like supposed to be full coverage in the description of the foundation, but the name of the foundation is Skin Insurance Max Coverage. So I was expecting full coverage. This I would say it's like medium to full, maybe a little bit more than medium, not quite full full, if that makes sense. Ooh, isn't this a look? <laughs> Just in time for Halloween. <laughs> you don't need a ton of product either, like the two pumps that I pumped out on the back of my hand, pretty much got everything I needed covered. And then I also have, the concealer. Let's see what we're saying about this concealer. So this is the JCAT Beauty Stay Assurance Water Sealed Zero Smudge Concealer. Lightweight, long lasting, combats dark circles, redness, and any imperfection for a flawless look. Buildable coverage without any creasing or caking. All right. I am very like not excited about trying a new concealer right now to be completely honest. I have been so over concealer lately. It's been a struggle for me that I've just been using my expensive Shiseido concealer all the time because that's the one, that one I know for sure is like always going to, to not crease, I guess. So I'm a little bit wary in trying it. And also this looks a little bit darker than my foundation shade. Ooh. <laughs> Love it when that happens. Okay. Yeah, it's a little dark. <laughs> it's, it's darker than my foundation. Oh, man. <laughs> and since this concealer isn't a great shade match, I'm blending it down my face a little bit further than I normally would. The concealer is blending out really, really nicely, though. Okay, I'm gonna set it real quick with my Kiko Milano Tuscan Sunshine Perfecting Powder. This powder is the only powder that I've been using to set my concealer lately, just because my I get so dry under my under eyes and that's pretty normal for most people, right? But I just feel like I have to set my concealer. I don't, let me, just, let me do this real quick and then I'll say it. I love this Tuscan Sunshine powder though, because 
I wish that I knew how to describe it. It's a very unique type of a texture. It's kind of hard in the pan, but the powder itself is very soft and very fine. And when you lay it down, it does sort of mattify in a way, like it does what powder's supposed to do in that it kind of takes away any of the wetness of what's laid down, if that makes sense. But it doesn't have a super powder-like finish. Like it's described as being a like luminous kind of a finish, but it's not like shiny or anything. It's just very soft and very light. I just really like it. And I've been using it, like I said, to set my concealer pretty much exclusively lately. So far this concealer looks good. I really don't mind this concealer so far, I gotta say. It's not awful. All right, let me go get everything else on. I'll be right back. Okay, back. So here we are feeling a bit clownish, but I think that's because I don't have liner and lashes on just yet. And the reason I don't have liner and lashes on just yet is because I have a liner from JCAT Beauty that I wanted to check out. So I took that aqua shimmery color, this one, smudged it out under my lower lash line. I took a little bit of that light blue one, kind of right in here and in the inner corner. It's just kind of flaky. Like it's really pretty. I think it looks really nice on the lid, but the consistency of it is such that it just sort of flakes and is a little bit chunky and kind of gets everywhere. So um, I have this liquid liner. Ooh, it's a brush liner. Ooh, it's pigmented. Okay. By the way, my kimchi, my, in my kimchi chic video, I meant to show y'all that I got one of these mirrors. Woohoo! It is the most honest mirror I have ever had. I kind of hate it, but I kind of love it, you know? off my eyeliner game today. I really don't think that it's this liner. I think it's me. This liner's working well, but I'm just shaky today for some reason. Okay. <laughs> So I think the liner is actually really good. I just was off my eyeliner game today. It's fine. <laughs> okay, let me put some lashes on real quick. I'm back with my lashes and everything on. That liner really did get away from me, but other than that, I do like this look. I think these blue colors are really pretty. These two rows of shimmers definitely are different in texture. This bottom row is a little bit smoother, but it's still quite shimmery. And then this middle row, it's kind of glittery a little bit, but not totally. It's not like a pressed glitter, but it is a little bit glittery. And this middle row does seem to be a little bit chunky. I wasn't overly impressed with the matte shadow, but it was a blue matte shadow. So those are kind of tricky and for like, an affordable, cheap little palette. Can't be too upset with it. I bet the other mattes would probably work okay. The blue, like it, it blended okay. It just took some building and it was like a touch patchy, a little bit tricky to work with. Uh, but those, those shimmer shades worked out beautifully, I think. As far as the foundation and the concealer goes, I haven't checked in on the, on the concealer yet. Concealer doesn't look bad. It is starting to crack just a little bit. Like it is starting to settle a touch. We'll see, you know, how it goes. As far as the foundation goes, the foundation is not that bad. I will say like before I powdered and everything, it is claiming to be like a luminous natural finish. Sorry, hope y'all don't mind me trying to multitask a little bit right now. But even though it said that it was like luminous, I definitely would call it more on the natural side, not so much luminous. It didn't seem totally luminous to me, 
when I first put it on. So I am going to insert a little check-in right now. So both the foundation and the concealer wore pretty well. I wore them both for two days in a row. I'm not wearing either of them right now just because neither of them are really a good shade match for me. So I might see about returning them because I do actually like both of them. So here's the thing about the foundation. It says it's supposed to be a luminous natural finish, right? I don't agree with the luminous part of it. So if you have dry skin and you were thinking that this was going to be like a hydrating option, I would not get it for that reason. In fact, kind of as the day progressed, it started to feel a little bit tight on my face, like a little, you know, you're kind of like, you could kind of, I could kind of feel it a little bit there. Not to a point where it was like uncomfortable or bothered me too much. It's just something that I noticed. The concealer is pretty good. Right after I put it on and right after I powdered, it, I did notice it kind of settle into my fine lines a little bit, not too bad. And then after that, it didn't really shift or change. So it wore fine after that. It just kind of didn't like settle in, in a good way, if that makes sense. So I'd say that they're both good, not amazing. I like the con I like the concealer better than the foundation, but I think, you know, they're both okay. I like how lightweight it is. I like how well it blended into the skin and I liked the coverage. But definitely, like I said, if you're if you have dry skin and you're looking for a hydrating option, I don't know that this would be the best one for you to try out. If you're kind of like me, you've got maybe combo, normal, or even leaning a little bit oilier skin, but you don't want something that's totally mattifying, this would be a good option. That's my conclusion on that. Eyeshadow wore great, actually. Um, so I would recommend the eyeshadow palette. I don't know where it is. I don't know what I do with it. Eyeliner's good. And the eye base is good, too. So there we go. So boom, there you go. Those are my final thoughts on the foundation and the concealer. Eee! The liner is really nice. I'll have to keep playing with it. I don't know if it's because it was a new liner or if I just was really off my game today, but I did have trouble getting a good line out of it. Not As far as like the pigment and the product coming out, it definitely deposited good pigmented product, but it was just, I don't know. I, I have a shaky hand anyways. I would be a terrible surgeon, but I did, I did struggle just a little bit with this one, but I think that that's probably just me. And this one, I might just have to get used to a little bit, but I did really like it. It's very pigmented. A lot of product comes out. You're not having to like re, you know, swipe over it. So anywho, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Sorry. I'm having major disagreements with my hair. <laughs> Definitely let me know what you think about J Cat Beauty. Let me know what you guys got during the 21 days of Ulta sale or if you've gotten anything good on sale from Ulta lately. So I'll see you in the next video, okay? Thanks so much for coming. Goodbye. Bye.